What's up, guys? It's your boy Dave Sir here. And before we start, we're just gonna say, who do you think will win Super Bowl 52, Patriots or Eagles? And yeah, good luck. And this is just a prediction game. We don't know what will happen in the real Super Bowl, but yeah, we're gonna get ready and suit yourself. A guy that you look at and really don't circle in your game plan. If there's other guys that you look at, then you realize this guy can do damage. Finds his way open. Almost every snap. Brady again here on second and ten. Oh, nearly picked. And maybe lucky there. This guy doesn't drop many defensively. Third down. And we peek at the defense now for Philadelphia. Fletcher Cox is a Pro Bowl, all pro talent at defensive tackle. And even though he didn't have his best year in 2016, still warranted double and triple teams from opposing offenses. If he's singled up, he usually finds his way into the opposing backfield to wreak a little bit of havoc. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. Throwing is Brady on third down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. So they took a shot there on third down. Couldn't get it. Now it's four. Well, you've got a receiver here who's got one touchdown already in this first quarter, and they were trying to double his pleasure there. Wanting to continue to go to the guys already gotten into the end zone. But good coverage to make sure that this time it fell incomplete. And this may be a big early turning point in this Super Bowl. They're going to go for it on fourth down here. Throwing now is Brady. And this is caught. It's pulled in by Gronkowski. Give him 15 yards on that one. And New England has a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back. And he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground. And I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. So a spirited first quarter here in Super Bowl 52. 6-0 is our score. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down. Now they'll run with Lewis. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through. They try again with Lewis. And now running right through it. And he gets it down to the 32. 12 yards is the pick up there, and that'll bring up the third and one. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Going on first down is Brady. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of six there on first. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. On play action, now Brady. Trying to drop one in, but it's incomplete. 
And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incomplete. Well, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. This is caught. Gronkowski. And he's going to get into the end zone. So cue up the Gronk spike. It's a Patriot touchdown. Rob Gronkowski from 19 yards away. And the Patriots add on to their lead. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Point after try for Goskowski. And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. The 10 play drive that time, and it ends with a New England touchdown. Koski now out to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. Well, partner, let's go league-wide with that incompletion. Discuss Eli Manning, who, of course, didn't start last week. A lot of news about that. 210 consecutive starts, and that streak now over. Amazing, isn't it? Because his first start, 2004 NFL season. It was now a hit, and Foles loses the football. It's out, and it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest... The biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. They missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. Not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Again, here's Blum. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. The best defensive lineman 
They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop. Now a hit and Foles loses the football. It's out. And the Patriots have it. He already had the one fumble lost, so now two fumbles lost here in this first half. Not setting the pace the way that you want.